hello. <laughs> oh shit. I'm so excited to be here right now. Um, I haven't filmed on my channel and God knows how long, like three years. Why, 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 why? I'm here, I'm here to show you this um, orange smoky eye. This is one of my favorite looks with like the little bit of like copper glitter in the inner tip up, in the corner. <laughs> But this is one of my favorite looks to do, so I decided, like, why not film this video on it? Um, I'm just feeling creative and feeling in the spirit. I just had a birthday, like, past, so, like, I'm just, like, I feel creative. Like, let's do this. Let's get it popping. But I'm just gonna sit here and I won't shut the fuck up, so. Um, if you want to see this look, keep on watching, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. All right, first I'm gonna start out with the Magic Perfecting Base by L'Oreal. I'm gonna rub that all over, rub it all into the skin. <laughs> then I'm gonna drop into foundation. I'm using the colors W7 and W6 for the L'Oreal True Match. And I'm just gonna put those in like a billion little dots all over my face. Um, you know, no particular order. Doesn't really matter, go crazy. Have fun. Next, I'm gonna take my brown beauty blender, and I swear the brown beauty blender is a freaking godsend. It makes me feel like less guilty when I use it, cause you know, like the foundation's brown, beauty blender's brown, so it's just like dark, not dark, or like middle, so like. <laughs> Literally still blending. Why? I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and the color Medium, which is number 25. And I'm going to spread those in triangles across my face and then I'm going to blend them out. Touch out, come close. Somewhere beyond your surface, the furnace. I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques uh, concealer brush and then just blend in any patches that I didn't get blended for the concealer. With my NYX yellow concealer, I'm just going to dot a couple little dots. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. <laughs> Under my eyes just to conceal any like dark. Then with my Airspun Translucent Powder, I'm going to do a little uh, quick bake. I don't like to bake that long because my skin's really dry, so I'd be looking like a grandma under that eye sometimes. So, bake however long you want. While I'm doing my quick bake, I'm taking that yellow concealer and putting it on my eye, blending it out with that concealer brush from Real Techniques, uh, just to set a base for my eyeshadow. Now with a Morphe MB20 brush, I'm going to take that airspun powder again and then just set my eyelids. Now I'm going to dust off my quick bake with a Real Techniques fluffy brush and Studio Fix by MAC in the color NC42. <laughs> Now I'm going to jump into a little contour. I'm going to use the Milani Contour and Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo. I'm not going to use a liquid side because it's highlighter, but we're going to use the little uh, brown lipstick side. <laughs> then I use my small e.l.f. stippling brush to just blend all that in. Now to blend my nose contour, I'm going to use this little flat fluffy brush I got from H-E-B. Um, doesn't have a name or a number, but he works great. So if you happen to find him, definitely not going to picking him up. jump into the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup palette. Um, iconic, legendary. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with raw sienna and blend that in with a Sigma E40 brush. <laughs> Next, with a Morphe M412 brush, I'm gonna go into Burnt Orange. And I love a little tapered end on this brush because I'm gonna drag that kind of like in my crease and make a little outer triangle shape. With that same 
same Morphe brush, I'm going to go in with uh, Rilgar, Rilgar <laughs> and do the same thing again with the triangle shape, but now I'm just laying down a brighter orange color. Kind of like smoke it out, blow it out a little bit. <laughs> do you ever just stop and pose with a frame? You're like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Now, going in with a little brush that comes with a, a palette, I'm gonna go back in with Rilgar and wipe that kind of like all over my eyelid. I like to be a little bit messy, but just to give it that extra orange kick. Then I'm gonna use the underside of that brush and run Rilgar under my waterline. Then going in with the Sigma E25 brush, I'm just gonna go back on my waterline and just smooth out what I just did with Rilgar. Next, I'm going to take this NYX Loose Glitter, and it's like a light bronze. The color is 8. With a Morphe MV26 brush and the NYX Glitter Glue, I'm just going to put that on the tip, just the tip, <laughs> to put in my inner tear duct. And then I'm going to pick that glitter up slowly and just lay it in the tear duct. Just lay it down. Next, with my Morphe MB16 brush, I'm going to lay down this mineralized skin finish by MAC in the color Soft and Gentle onto my brow bone. Then going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I don't know what color this is. The lighter brown color and the medium kit. I'm just going to bronze my face with it. Then grabbing my Sigma Duo Fiber brush. It's an F50. I'm going to take this Cora de Rosa Aura Powder. Um, it's really nice blush, and I'm just gonna blush up them cheeks. Next, I'm gonna go in with a high cheekbone highlighter uh, brush by Sigma. It's F03 in the mineralized skin finish, soft and gentle, and put some highlight on. Don't forget your nose, baby. Then we're gonna hit it one more time with the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette with the color Gator Wings. Y'all want the motherfucking glow or not? Gotta use like six highlights to achieve that iconic ass glow. Now take a couple seconds to admire yourself and the glow. Now I'm gonna go pop some lashes on and lay my baby hairs. I'll be right back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, my socials will be listed down below. I'd love for you guys to give me like feedback on this. And hope you guys enjoy. See you in the next video. Bye. Titties. Titties.